Young boy was reportedly involved in a shootout that left one person dead. Here's what you need to know. Early Troubles, the drive-by shooting. Kentrell Deshaun Gordon, a.k.a. NBA Youngboy, was arrested at a November 2016 show in Austin, Texas for his alleged role in a shooting that took place in his hometown of Baton Rouge earlier that month. According to WAFB, he was hit with two counts of attempted second-degree murder and accused of firing multiple shots in a drive-by. One of those charges was later dismissed and the other was reduced to aggravated assault with a firearm. He continued releasing music, dropping this video for Down Chick in the days after his arrest. Youngboy sentenced for shooting. The rapper spent months in jail in Louisiana after he was booked into the East Baton Rouge Paris prison in December of 2016. By May of the next year, he secured his release via a deal that had him pleading guilty to aggravated assault with the firearm. During that same period, he dropped two mixtapes. That August, he was sentenced to a 10-year suspended sentence and three years of probation. A court arrest stemmed from hotel surveillance video footage that allegedly showed the rapper knocking his girlfriend, Jania Jackson, to the ground and dragging her into a room. He was hit with charges of kidnapping and aggravated assault for his alleged mistreatment of his partner. After his arrest, he was transferred to Ware County Jail and held without bail. According to a report from the Miami Herald, police records show that young boy fled Georgia to Florida. In the wake of the charges, his mother took his Instagram alive to defend her son. Insistation conditions ordered him to stop posting online. That ban was lifted by the summer of 2018 as confirmed to Complex by his management team. When the rapper was back posting clips of his music like this one from last July. Trap dogs, trap dogs. Housekeeping staff, in which police say Thick Finn struck a worker in the face. Young boy faces lawsuit. WAFB reported in March that Young Boy Never Broke Again along with Quando Rondo was sued over a violent attack in which he allegedly carried out on DJ Carl Capers during the December 2018 show in South Carolina. According to the station, Capers claims he was beaten by both rappers and left the event with a cracked tooth and bloody face. The charges for his drug case. TMZ reported in April that Young Boy Never Broke Again was officially charged with two misdemeanors in connection with his February hotel arrest in Atlanta. But that case shouldn't be confused with the hotel incident from the year prior in which he allegedly attacked his girlfriend. The new case hasn't slowed his output. He dropped this video for Free Dog, and the same day TMZ dropped his story on his charges. Young Boy involved in Florida shooting. Gaudin most recently found himself the subject of all the headlines for his alleged involvement in gunfire that broke out in front of the Trump International Beach Resort in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida, earlier this month. While young boy wasn't injured in the shooting, his girlfriend was reportedly struck by a bullet and an innocent bystander was killed. The incident coincided with the weekend's Rolling Loud Festival in Miami, an event that seemed like a magnet for trouble and subsequent law enforcement activity. Reports of T. Grizzly involved in the shooting. Florida news outlets reported on the shooting described it as being between two rappers, but mostly only named young boy. WPLG did say in an early report that Detroit rapper T. Grizzly was also involved, and his social media has since been flooded with comments referencing the shooting. He's not directly mentioned the incident on social media, but did repost this Instagram story that appears to assert he had nothing. Right. Y'all raised my children right, and guess what? Your mama ain't raised you right. After young boy was arrested on the charge of kidnapping and aggravated assault, the victim of his alleged crimes painted him as an innocent man on social media. Jania Jackson insisted that the two were just playing. She also said that Gordon would not legitimately attack her. She also claimed online that he never, quote, put his hands on her. Young boy bailed out. He didn't spend too long in jail, securing his release on March 15, 2018, via $75,000 bail. Days later, he was officially indicted on charges of aggravated assault and kidnapping by a grand jury in Wake Cross, Georgia, according to TMZ. Young Boy's brief stint in jail delayed the arrival of his debut album until Death Call My Name, which was originally scheduled for a March 2018 release, but was pushed back to April 27th of that year. However, Young Boy's remained prolific with his musical output. Hey, fuck who's on y'all today? Fuck is you talking about, man? The fuck I'm gonna have a fake page for my blue chick, bitch, this me. What you tipping me or something? How sway? Y'all answer me this. If it's a fake page that's messaging these high profile, high number of followers that's messaging these people, and these people are believing that it's a fake page, how is it happening over and over and over again? It's really a fake page happening over and over and over again, and people are falling for it and thinking they really talking to NBA? Miss me with all of that. But I know y'all gonna think what y'all think. Because I got cussed out for saying that Yaya slashed her own tires when he definitely tried to embarrass that girl. It was all over the shade room that was done intentionally. But anyway, I'm just going to say, houseway, do people still keep getting... Now, it went down a couple of hours ago on social media. So, you guys remember J.D. Youngin. Remember that he hit NBA young boy's baby mama Nene, flew her out, took her shopping, had sex with her, and sent her back home about, what, a month ago? I did a video on that. So, it's this thing about NBA young boy. I really want people to know 
that he's still a kid in his mind. You know what I'm saying? NBA Youngboy has tried to embarrass anybody who has ever tried to embarrass him first. And just because he didn't speak on this shit don't mean he wasn't going to get his revenge. And honestly, I feel like he set J.D. Youngin up. So, after he didn't tap Jania Buns and sent her ass back home, back to the baby, you don't hear nothing, okay? Because clearly that's what Jay wanted. He just wanted to hit, and that was it. You don't hear nothing else. And then Jay the Youngin randomly, randomly as hell, gets on Instagram and puts up a snippet of him remixing a leaked NBA Youngboy song, quote-unquote leaked, okay? This was a leaked song that Jay claims NBA's people sent to him to jump on the remix. He, he went. I never even responded to the shit. Man, you a thug, man. And fuck that old man. I never said nothing about that shit. I ain't care about that shit. The fuck? And yeah. Obviously, y'all gotta be money's on my trip. I don't come and sit with none of y'all. Half of this shit they be coming across this internet. I don't even know what the fuck y'all be talking about, dog. Y'all be clout chasing off me. That's what it is. Y'all speak on me because y'all want to respond, y'all. I guess y'all feel like, oh yeah, we know for a fact that little nigga that gonna respond. Y'all clout chase off me. That's why y'all bring up my name. Bitch, y'all know for a fact. Y'all never seen me in life. You know for a fact you never even spoke to me in life. Hey, say you. Never spoke to me. I don't know who the everybody think they been talking to. Man, y'all people don't talk to me. I don't talk to nobody. No dumb rapping. No YouTube and none of that ass shit. They don't speak on me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, look, I'm here to say. Man, look. Man, these people, hey, man, you think I'm that lame? That's our show. Fake ass page, you know? Nigga. Sent me your song. And NBA Youngboy is going off saying, No, the fuck nobody did. I don't know who the fuck you think you talking to. It was a fake page. So then JD Young is like, Hold up, somebody's lying. And I know that y'all stand for NBA Youngboy, but he's lying, okay? Months and months of him trying to embarrass people online for the world to see are all lie. And he always hops back and embarrassing people. Bitch, hey, bitch, I want talking to you and I don't even fucking know. You. That's his favorite thing to do, okay? But hey, I'm gonna get cussed out. I already know, but I'm just gonna go ahead with this damn video. So, Billy whenever. Billy dead, a goddamn baby hit. The, the nigga that got hit, he was way over yonder, too. That nigga was way across the parking lot somewhere and that nigga got hit. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So. Rest in peace to him, too. Rest in peace to that motherfucker. I know he mad as hell wherever he at. You know he pissed. So, NBA Youngboy was involved in this shoot, and niggas got the... I'm hearing shit by T. Grizzly, Fredo Bang. I'm hearing about some other shit. Till some details come out, we ain't go... We ain't go worry about that. So, he was arrested, but he was let go because they called it self-defense. They said it was self-defense. I mean, what was... He was in what, Florida? Come on, nigga, that's the stand your ground law. You can kill this nigga's DNA. Where search warrant, you just say a court order. They're putting in a court order to get this nigga's DNA. Now, if they match this DNA with those guns, it's over now. It's over now. Because, listen, the nigga not supposed to be around shit. Not no guns, not no gangsters. She landed the nigga slide with the, she was landing the nigga slide with the social media shit. She was just turning a blind eye to the, the nigga wasn't even supposed to be on social media come to find out. And the real reason why she picked him up and arrested him because she saw a, a video of this nigga threatening niggas on, uh, you know how niggas do when they on live. He, he been doing that shit for months now. So I don't know. I, I don't think she really been paying attention to the nigga because the nigga been doing, the shit he doing now, he was doing months ago. Damn near as soon as he got out. Now, he was able to get out of there. But when he got back to Baton Rouge, they like, nah, bring your ass over here. So they locked his ass up. And the, the judge, which is, we got to look at this. So we typically think that these judges be just fucking with uh, niggas. But this judge is a nigga. This judge is a black woman. So if you wondering why this nigga been getting so many chances, it's because this is a black woman. And I think she understands how corrupt the system is. So she's trying to help him out like, nigga. All right, I'm gonna give you another chance. He fuck up again, I, nigga. For real, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, 
nigga. Really, bro? Ah, uh, you know what? Get your ass in here. Because I'm personally thinking that she feared for this man's safety. I think she actually generally give a fuck about the nigga. As much chances as she gave this nigga, I'm, I'm thinking that she give a fuck about this nigga. Now, while you, you, this, this happens all the time. We've seen this shit with Kodak. Once you get caught up in that system, they start bringing shit in that she ain't even know about. You, you might have fucking stumped the nigga out in South Dakota. And they go bring, in like 2005, they go bring that shit up. So investigators in North Carolina, they want the DNA of NBA Youngboy. Because they think that the guns that are left in a, a parking lot somewhere, they think belongs to NBA Youngboy. He, he need to be doing something about 2020. He ain't did no sacrifice, he ain't did shit. I don't give a fuck who did man, I said it. So what, I said it. The fuck? Pull up, I said it. Real talk. That's what's going on right now, dog. You know what I'm saying? People just looking at, oh, uh, because y'all gotta look at it. Come on, man. These people are millionaires. These people got millions of dollars. Ain't no damn regular police flagging them because they know they got license and insurance for number one. So you gotta have a court order to even, unless they on probation or parole, depending on who driving. If the driver one on no probation or parole, you need a court order to search his vehicle. For number two, if the, they got the driver, I don't give a fuck if it was 5,000 guns in that motherfucking car, 50 pounds in the trunk. If don't nobody admit to it, everything goes on the driver. Just like that's the law, period. It's like they kick your house in, they find 30 pounds, you got 50 niggas in there, don't nobody admit to it, everything goes on the driver. This is common law. Everywhere. Now that's Louisiana got some shit we don't know about. But this is just the common law right here. If the driver already got the case, I'm saying no matter if he touched them guns, he licked them motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck if he bust a nut on them motherfuckers. You get all the DNA you want. I don't give a fuck. Y'all know what I'm saying? I wasn't driving. I don't ride. I don't know nothing. It is what it is. Everything goes to the driver. You can't, only thing you can charge, you probably can just charge me with being around one. You can't charge me with no type of possession of it. So all you can do is just violate my papers. That's about it. Because I'm not in possession of nothing. So I'm not, I don't have unlawful, you know what I'm saying? But all this is coming down because y'all don't say these people millionaires. They got people that follow them around, spy on them, tap their phones, all that type of shit. Y'all already know that shit, dog. Come on now, we, just keep it a hundred, man, you know what I'm saying? These people got millions of dollars. Ain't no regular police stopping them. So who y'all think stopping them? Keep it up, keep it a buck. Just keep it a buck. Real talk. And I said it. I don't give a fuck get mad about what I'm saying. It's the truth. I said it. You know what I'm saying? That song he put out a while ago. 2020, we all gonna die. Whatever the hell he said in there, they want his son. He ain't say he wasn't giving his son up. He refused to make a sacrifice. And I guess he won't make a sacrifice.